Okay, we see our initial attempt at decomposition. We've simplified this expression, put it as a numerator over denominator, set the numerators equal, obtain four equations, solve those equations for A, B, C, and D, and now we want to see whether we got it right. Okay? And I actually kind of doubt it, but I think there's a possibility. Okay. So, A is 1 over 35. So, A over X minus 2 would be... Okay. Yeah, I'm going to write it this way. 1 over... 35 times x minus 2. b is negative 254 over 35. So b over x minus 2 quantity squared will be negative 254 over 35 times x minus 2 squared. c is 69 over 35. So c over x plus 3 will be 69 over 35 times x plus 3. <coughs> Excuse me. And d is 248 over 35, so we've got 248 over x plus 3 quantity squared. Now, before I go on with this, I don't have to keep writing those 35s, and I didn't write the 35 here. Okay? So I'm just going to factor out 1 over 35. And now I've got 1 over x minus 2 minus 254 over x minus 2 quantity squared plus 69 over quantity x plus 3 plus 248 over x plus 3 quantity squared. So let's see, that's 1 over 35 times 1. Now again, we're going to have to write out all the terms. Um, we're going to have 1 over x minus 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 times x plus 3 quantity squared over x plus 3 quantity squared. And then I'm going to have minus 254 over x minus 2 quantity squared times x minus 3 quantity squared over x minus 3 quantity squared. And that's going to be plus 69 over x plus 3. Multiply that by x minus 2 quantity squared over x minus 2 quantity squared times x plus 3 over x plus 3 and then plus 248 over the quantity x plus 3 squared multiplied by x minus 2 quantity squared over x minus 2 quantity squared and parentheses. Well, yeah, that's bad, but it's not terribly bad. The bad thing is you've got to do every step right or it's going to be wrong. No, it's 1 over 35 multiplied by, okay, x plus 3 squared times x minus 2. Now, we've done this before. Let's see if I can do it right now. I think I've got the quantities in my head. This is going to be x cubed plus 
of the x squared, so I'm going to have a 6x times x, that's going to be 6x squared, and then minus 2 times that x squared, which gives me 4x squared. Then on the x's, I'm going to have a negative 2x from this, no, not that squared, okay? I'm going to have a negative 2 times 6x, see, I almost made a mistake, negative 12x there, and a 9x here, which gives me a negative 3x squared. And then I'm going to have a negative 2 times 9, which is negative 18, all divided by x minus 2 squared times x plus 3 squared. I'm not going to write them out. Okay, well, this is getting a little tedious. You don't want to watch me screw up the whole thing. So I'm going to go ahead and write out the rest of these, and we'll come back and see if they collect into the correct original terms.